In today's tutorial, we're learning how to make this cool photo manipulation effect in Canva with these basic elements. So we're starting from a picture and a loose photograph, and we're trying to merge them and blend them together as nicely as we can. And we're starting from a blank slide. In our case, we're using this Instagram portrait image. We go to elements and we want to type in a road. This will give us a selection of road images. Go to photos, see all. And here we want to look for a nice road that ends somewhere in the background. So let's see what we can find. And I think this image will be perfect. So I'm going to drag it on the screen, release it somewhere on the side so it fills the entire screen. We're already going to duplicate the page. So we have one original file to work with. And then on one of the images, you go to edit image and background remover. And this will remove the clouds. Now, of course, we also want the mountains and the sides of the roads deleted. So we go to magic eraser, brush size, and then we're going to select everything except for the road in the middle. So we're going to do it like this. And then also on the other side, we're going to nicely erase the borders until we have a clean selection of the road. Also at the top and then erase. It's important that you first remove the background of the image. Otherwise, if you straight go to the eraser, it will make everything gray and blurry. But we want this transparent background. So that, that's why we first erase the background and then do the extra touches. And then we click on back. And this gives us a nice image of the road only with a transparent background. So that's what we want. Now we go back to the original image and we create another duplicate. And here on one of the two, we want to go to edit image and blur. Select whole image because we want the entire image blurred and then increase the intensity to about 30 points. Go back. And now we have three different images. We have the original one, the blurred version, and the version without a background, so only the road. Now let's look at the picture image that we can use. So we go to elements, and here we want to type in phone. And then we want to select a nice image of a person holding a phone, ideally with a transparent background. So let's see what we can find. I think one of the first ones will actually look quite good. Here we can already see that the screen is cut out so that it's perfect for our use case. Increase it in size so that it sort of matches up and lines up with the road so that we have some room to work with and everything that you see inside of the screen, that's what we want to have pop out. So now we have all the elements. Now we need to look at the layers. Background layer is going to be the blurred layer. Then we have the hand. Now let's overlay the transparent image. So the transparent road image, control V. We have to place it correct. So make sure that it aligns nicely. And here we can see that the blur effect in the phone doesn't look very realistic. So that's not what we want. We want a full image non blur effect. And that's why we have this original image in place. Control C and control V on the slide, place it in the middle, position layers, and we want to drag it underneath the phone and above the blurred layer. Now we can see that everything goes into that non-blurred modus. So we go to position, select the non-blurred image and drag the sides so that they nicely align with the photo. There we go. And this way we get that depth of field effect with everything outside of the picture. Now we can always reposition if we want. So if we want the hand to be a bit higher, I think in this case it will look nice. Or we can increase it in size. I think like this it will be good. But then, of course, we also need to change that blurred, blurred edge. So we're going to the non-blurred picture and then adjust the crop marks. Here at the sky, it doesn't really matter, so we can put it somewhere around here. And then let's add some text as a final result. So text. And let's look for some of the nice presets and font combinations. I think something handwritten will fit well with this image. Let's see what we can find. And I think here, this one will be good, of course, Coffee person doesn't make sense, but if we change it to white and then change that text to something travel related, for example, explore, and then we type nature, this could look like a cool font. Maybe here on the road image, let's select that position, the road image, edit image, magic eraser. Let's erase some of the lines so that our text will nicely fit in there. Erase, and that will make the text a lot more readable. And then if we go back, this will look quite good. So let's increase this in size. Now, of course, the hands, they don't match perfectly with the image. So what we're going to do is position, grab the hands, edit image, adjust. And we're going to make it just a bit warmer, change the tint, maybe reduce the brightness a bit. Contrast gives a shadow effect that will always look good. 
the highlights can be tuned down by a few ticks. Shadows as well, we can reduce them quite a lot. And you can see by changing these parameters, the image or the hand will blend in nicely with the picture. And that's what we want in the end. We want a realistic result. The vibrance, if you turn it up, it will become warmer. If you tune it down, it will go more towards black and white. I think here it will be nice if we turn it up a little bit so the hand becomes more alive, but still blends in nicely with the background. That looks quite good. Now as a final touch, I would say go to elements and let's add some shadow. Shadow effect here at the thumb and the road, because that's where in the photo manipulation there will be some depth. Go to graphics and then select one of these shadow lines. So we're going to select this one, scale it down, turn it around, make it smaller. And then we want to position it here at the border of the line. And then of course position and drag it in between the road and the hand. There it looks quite good. If it's too harsh, you can always you can always select the shadow again and just reduce the transparency by a bit. That way it's a more of a subtle touch that adds to the design. And now let's preview this on full screen. And this is how you can create this cool photo manipulation in Canva in just a few minutes with the elements that are available. So you don't need Photoshop to it, but you can do quite a lot with Canva. If you want to learn more about Canva, make sure to drop a follow and watch the video on the screen right now.